So welcome to another Camper Build episode. Let's just get right to it with Troy's truck tailgate talk. So the camper build is coming along pretty good and uh, the build videos are uh, getting caught up to where uh, the camper is at right now. Unfortunately, some of the earlier videos that I did uh, didn't have any narration, so I'm gonna have to do some voiceover work and uh, I plan to minimize the amount of voiceover videos that are, that are out there. But uh, let's get into what uh, this video is about. Uh, this one is kind of like the early, the early, early versions of, of the camper with the, the two x four model and the 8020 prototype. And so um, one of the things to note with the uh, 8020 prototype is that this is where I was still planning to use the 90s uh, to hold the post down. And uh, I've switched over to the different method where I have those base plates that I, that I used to build the camper now. And uh, oh, I want to also talk about this right here. As you can see, this is going to be a little different in the video. The video, I have this bar going all the way down. Uh, and so when I store the camper, I store it on the side. And when I work on the camper, I work with it on the, the ground of the garage. And so this end piece here, this whole back piece was supposed to come off like in just a few bolts, but that's just not working out right now for the early part of the build. So what I did was, uh, I basically chopped this in half and uh, the, the one thing the one thing this camper needs more of is more hinges so I added or I was gonna add a hinge here so this whole back part hinges out of the way so that way when you store it this thing doesn't hang down and uh, also when I work on it I don't have to like uh, in the garage you'll see that I have it propped up on some 2 by 4 so I can work on this piece so all that's been uh, that's all, that, all that's been changed. So that is that. Let's uh, get into some of those earlier videos that I made. When building the 2x4 prototype camper, I also ended up building this little prototype chair as well out of some scrap 2x4s that I had laying around. Uh, the main reason I built it is I wanted to get, get all the dimensions of the chair, uh, the height, the angles, uh, the height of the back of the chair, and uh, I wanted to use it to kind of work out where the placement is gonna go in, in the camper. The other reason I wanted to show it to you is because uh, it's going to show up in a couple of videos and pictures and I wanted you to know what it was all about before you saw it there. So a couple of other things I built was a little uh, 2x4 box for the uh, propane and then a 2x4 box for the uh, toilet cabinet. And so same thing as the chair is I wanted to build a little prototype box to work out the placements on where it's going to go in the camper. And you can see these in the back in the background here. So I'll cover this chair in depth when I get to the interior build of the camper and when I start making all those videos. Uh, I don't have this chair anymore, but I do have all of the dimensions, so uh, I'll be able to replicate it. I think maybe in the beginning I'll, I might just be sitting on some coolers, but uh, eventually I'll get to this. I was uh, quite surprised on how comfortable a chair is, uh, for me at least. Uh, and this is just without any padding or anything like that, so I'm really excited that that this is going to work out fairly well. So I'm trying to figure out if I want the chair to be flat or have a little bit of an angle to it. I'm not sure what the best ergonomics is. Uh, I took a little piece of three quarter inch plywood and I can slide it back and forth to adjust the angle. But it turns out that uh, having it all the way in the end, uh, three quarters is probably the maximum height that I, that I would want. I'm not sure what the proper ergonomics is, but uh, I'll either go flat or just up like a half inch or three quarters of an inch. So next up is the uh, propane box and the toilet cabinet. And I'm starting to run out of uh, two by fours, some scrap two by fours. So I had the idea of uh, putting the pieces together and then slicing it in half with a circular saw to form the two sides. And uh, it, it was a little sketchy the way I was cutting it. I need to either clamp it better or, or do something differently, but uh, I don't recommend doing this at all. Uh, and it really didn't come out too well, but it did the job. I was able to build the two boxes and use them to help me place where they're gonna go into the camper. This is the propane box, and then this is the uh, toilet cabinet. And you can see here how I was uh, making it as I was putting screws on each side. And then uh, at first I was just trying to just kind of free it and then cut the two in half, but I found it a little bit easier if I went ahead and I marked the center of the 2x4s uh, so I had a little guide to know where to cut. So it worked a little bit better, but still 
I don't recommend doing this. This was I have a much better way to build prototype boxes now. Or I probably should have just built these out of cardboard. But like I said, it worked. It got the job done. And next time I'll just do something different. So I pretty much used every little scrap of wood I could find in the garage to build these two boxes. Uh, you know, they're far from perfect, but, but they did the job. For the chair, I did spend a little bit more time to try to get that right. But anyways, let's move on to the 2x4 model of the camper. So my main goal of the 2x4 model, uh, well actually the only goal of the 2x4 model, was to come up with some uh, baseline measurements. So I needed to determine the minimum height the camper had to be in order to clear that shark fin on the cab of the truck, on the top of the cab. So you can see I have a lot of photos of a 2x4 that's angled over the center of the truck. And basically what I'm trying to do is measure the distance from the top of that shark fin and the bottom of the 2x4. So I took a 2x4 on the rail on the side of the truck and then brought it over to the center of the truck so I can get an accurate distance so I can start uh, cutting that uh, those side posts down to get the camper height that I need. And you can see here now that uh, I've got those measurements. I took a piece of plywood and you can see how close I am to that uh, top of that shark fin. The other thing I wanted to do was try to figure out how far over the cab the camper was going to extend uh, over the truck. Uh, here I think um, it was around 10, 10 and a half feet for the total length of the camper. And then uh, just for reference, I think the camper is just barely over nine feet right now. So you can see the difference between the two. The other thing I needed to do is get the length and the width of the bed of the truck so I can uh, order those pieces of uh, 80-20. So right here I'm measuring the uh, base rail of the camper or trying to determine what the base rail is going to be. So I lined up the 2x4 to where it needed to be in the front. And then on the back of the camper, since I wanted to gap, I put a little piece of plywood uh, for a little spacer and then uh, pushed it up against the, uh, the tailgate and then marked it on the 2x4 to see how long the rail needed to be. And so it turned out to be just under 74 inches. So I rounded it up to 74. So that meant that I would have about a half inch gap between the tailgate and the um, camper. So when I was building this uh, two by four model, I have to say that I was actually getting pretty excited about this whole camper build. And uh, I, I was actually even thinking about, oh, I'm just gonna build this whole prototype with uh, two by fours and just build the, the AB20 camper way down the road. The only thing that was kind of holding me back was I was, wasn't quite sure how I was going to mount the, uh, the two by fours to the rail of the truck. So another thing I thought about doing was, uh, start cutting some plywood strips and then laminating them together to form some posts. I even got so far as to start cutting some, uh, uh, plywood strips to see how well that would work. But then I just decided just to wait till I get all the 80, 20 in. So finally, uh, the first shipment of 8020 came in for the camper and I immediately started building the camper. So I started building the camper on the truck, but uh, then I had to build it on the ground because the wind kept blowing it off. Uh, then I just kind of uh, put the, the these pieces kind of in an angle and uh, that gave enough stability so the wind wouldn't blow it over. So this is a real early version of the camper where I had those really tall posts so I can really have these big open areas. But uh, I think at this point I had already decided that I'm gonna cut everything down. But I just wanted to go ahead and assemble what I had and just kind of give everything a try. I'm really glad I abandoned um, this version of the camper. So you'll notice here that the top rail is in uh, two different pieces as opposed to one single piece like it is now. Um, there's a couple reasons why I did this and uh, I'm going to go over that in, uh, in a video uh, here shortly when I talk about the roof of the camper. So I know in one of the videos, the earlier videos, that I said that this was uh, kind of flimsy, this little prototype that I had here, uh, this exact prototype. And uh, uh, if you look close, uh, you'll see that I don't, I don't have a lot of bolts holding everything together. So that I think really contributed to uh, the flimsiness and everything. So making it a little bit wobbly. If you look close, you can see that the 90s, I only have uh, four bolts instead of eight. And then the connecting the rails, I just used like a, a 
one by four with just two bolts. Um, you know, I was just, I knew that I was going to go ahead and, uh, uh, cut everything down. And so I just wanted to kind of assemble the pieces that I had just to kind of check everything out. And I was just kind of, kind of rushing it, just trying to do it as fast as I could. So if you look at that rail, that's just above the, the cab of the truck that ends at the post, uh, you know, my thought was I was going to be able to have that big open area in the back, but I, I just, you know, with the stability and the support, uh, I was just kind of worried that this solution was just, wasn't going to be very good. Um, I really didn't test it out uh, to see if there was any flex by pulling down the front of the camper. But, you know, I'm happy with the solution that I, that I picked where that rail just goes all the way to the back of the camper. So here's the uh, prototype chair that I was talking about earlier. So this is just a special bracket that I made on the very front of the camper on the overcab part. Uh, it's made out of uh, 3 16th uh, angle and this just kind of holds everything together. And this is just the bracket, kind of the same concept, but this is on all the posts that I made. So here's a test to see how the window looked in the camper. Uh, you can see it's a little bit short for that opening and that's because I had already decided that I was gonna cut down the camper and so this window is the size of what it currently is at. Here's the early version of the back of the camper. You can see the posts go all the way down to the ground and you can see that I have to prop up the camper with some two by fours in order to work on it. And you'll also notice that the camper is shorter now and I'm using the base plates for the post. So now you can see that the camper is a lot shorter than what it was. I went ahead and I made all those cuts on the posts and then I reassembled the camper and put it back on the truck. And the version you see here on the truck right now is pretty much the version that I did the first walk around video. Well, that'll do it for uh, this episode. Uh, like always, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Next episode, I think I'm gonna go over the base rail here and then we're gonna do the posts and then a second walk around of the whole camper. Anyways, uh, that's it for this one and I'll see you on the next one.